Hello. Hello. It's me. I'm doing the thing again. Which is this. Whoa. Who, anyone surprised? No, I thought so. This will be my routine until the prologue comes out, and then maybe I'll ease up a bit. Maybe not, though. It all depends on how I feel. Oh, boy. It takes a lot out of you, man. When you only got two hours a day to work on these pages, it takes a lot out of you. Mainly because you just wish you could get more done, or at least I do. I spent a uh, majority of my morning after work, because that's how my days function in the current times that I live. I get home from work and it's morning, so I spend most of my morning. Well, and then I come here, so it's not like I'm helping myself with a, with a decent routine or schedule. That's not happening. I can sleep after this stream. But I spent most of my morning working on uh, plot outlines, and I've been noticing uh, an issue I have. I always get too in-depth with my plot outlines. I should save the intricacies for the chapter scripts, which I am definitely not working on anytime soon, other than the prologue, because that's happening right now, and I kind of have to do it. Sub Mask, how's it going? Welcome in. That's too long for a finger. Those are probably about right for a finger. I really am excited to uh, get this out though. Um, I've been, I was gonna say, I'm making food, how you doing? I was talking about how I was doing. I'm doing okay, but um, I spent most of my morning working on plot outlines for the comic. Well into chapter, I don't know, I think I'm on like... Well, I have the outline for like the whole thing in a broad scope kind of mapped out, but I'm going in now and doing the details, and I have up to like chapter 3-ish. Like halfway through that or something. And the prologue writing is ironing itself out, mainly because it takes me so long to uh, get these pages done, and I haven't released anything yet, that I can kind of just mess around with... Um, my actual script and making it better and fine-tuning it uh, for as long as I want until I start releasing these and I feel like I'm gonna be that guy who will change his comic after even after it's uploaded like I'll just be like no nah, this could be worded better I'm gonna try and not do that because that's uh I can imagine that being annoying to people who follow a story to be like oh yeah the author went back or the creator went back and they actually just changed some stuff because they didn't like it. It's like, well, then why am I even reading this if it's going to be changed later? And it's like, I could get that. So luckily I'm trying to get, well, uh, luckily I did get to a point where the most of the prologue is good by my current standard that fluctuates from day to day. I'm going to try and get better at being consistently okay with what I'm doing. That's a bit of a challenge, but I'll work on it. Always getting better at it. Also, Mask Sensor here. Praise be to uh, King Paimon. We all know. He is the one true god. Is her head too large? Her head might be slightly... Well, his head... Mm. How big is his, this man's face? How big is your face? His face might be... Eh, maybe his head's too large. Maybe both their heads are too large. Nah, they're... Mm, um, maybe your head... We'll just try it. Let's forget try it, dude. Praise be.
Speaking of heads, gonna have to adjust this one. Not gonna remove it by way of ritual sacrifice, but I am gonna shrink it a little bit. He with his cutting heads and weird light antennae. <laughs> what is that word? And dachical weed. Weird light and magical, I'm assuming. And his freaking dope camel. Magical, I thought so. So we got a few more panels to do line. I don't know why I thought I would ever get the line art done on that one day. Clearly I have much more to do. Why are the M and A on the opposite sides of the keyboard? How did I make that mistake? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. That was, <laughs> that was pretty wild over there. Oh boy, I can tell this already looks better as a sketch than it will as a final product for a while. I'm going to have to work on this line art for a bit. Maybe? No, he almost had it there. It was looking okay. He's just too wide here. But yeah, I was talking about it earlier, I was getting too in-depth with my plot outlines. Or the more expanded, the slightly more expanded version of it. And I was getting, like, into the point where I was actually just accidentally scripting out the scenes before. It's like, you're doing an outline, not a script. Calm down. And if you start scripting before you even have your outline set up, it's just going to make it even worse. You're just going to know, you're just going to realize how little you actually have written down, and it's just like, oh my god. There's some people that claim to operate better without an outline. I think they're lying. I know we're all different in this world, but like, come on. You can't just go out, you can't go with the flow off the top of the dome. I know some people are probably going to be more... More better, that's a good way to phrase it. Uh, but more better at writing than me. But uh, I don't think that you can truly reach that intrinsic level of uh, writing without an outline. Although there are those people that do art in much a similar way. The visual arts, that is. They can uh, do those pen and ink drawings with no sketch work. Or underlying uh, framework at all. And that's just like, I guess that would be the visual art equivalent. So I suppose it's possible that some people can work with no outline and just be intuitive like that. I wish I could do that. I can't. But I act like I am, which is the problem. This looks ridiculous. How do I draw her hair from this angle? This all looks fine, but it's this little bit that I need to finalize. What the heck? Ow. There's a streamer that I follow that I haven't seen go live in forever. What the heck? What are you doing? Who are you? I barely even recognize the name. Who are you? Interesting. I 
don't know who that is. I must have followed them at some point, evidently. But I can't recall them. I'm gonna go back to focusing for as long as I can, and I have lost it. Now I'm thinking about other things again. No, no, come on, D. I'm thinking about stuff like that mysterious Capcom game that they said was going to sell millions of copies, and we all know it's going to be Monster Hunter. Like, come on, dude. Who do you think you're fooling, Capcom? Not me. This is going to be inferior. Just draw the circle. Have you ever seen anyone draw a circle? So bad. What was that? That was like an egg. Oh, wait, we have something. It's like vertical, but we can make it work. Obviously. I mean, we all know. People are like, it could be a uh, Devil May Cry. It's like, bro, he's doing Dragon's Dogma right now. What do you mean it can be Devil May Cry 6? It's not. It'd be cool even if it was. I'd be willing to eat my words on that one, but I don't think I'm going to be wrong on that. He's doing Dragon's Dogma 2, he's wearing a t-shirt, and we saw a trailer, and it looked pretty cool. How do I... Does it distort? Hmm, that's, that, that appears to be it. You think the bear sex is mandatory in the Baldur's Gate 3 game? If it's not, then they should be disappointed with themselves. Because, obviously, that is the feature we all crave in video gaming. I gotta hide this line. How does this look? Ah, oh, that looks fine. I'm just wondering if there's, like, an option where you could have two bears. Can you pick a class that lets you be a bear and then also hook up with the bear druid or whatever? And then you just you're just playing a National Geographic video at that point. I wonder if they would do that. I have not seen any reviews for Baldur's Gate 3, so I don't know. You sh you could tell me if this is in there or not. You know a game's good when it releases and people have to ask themselves, does that count as bestiality? It's a question I think all games should inspire within the minds of its player base. Dark Souls did it. Seath the Scaleless, he's a dragon. He's a very intelligent dragon with an intellect rivaling that of man's. Allegedly, has sex with a lady. If you're to believe some of the lore masters, and frankly, I don't know if I want to. But, uh, yeah. If tr big if true. But also, is that bestiality? Probably. <laughs> he is just a literal dragon. But then the bear is a literal bear just because it has the mind of a man. Doesn't mean it's not a bear. I also don't know. So maybe we shouldn't know. Draw the sleevey here.
I am curious though. It's weird that Capcom just said they came out. Was it was it an investors meeting or something? Because I feel like those are that's one of the rare times when you would just come out and say, "Yeah, we got a game. It's gonna sell millions of copies," and then they're just that ambiguous with it. They didn't even give a date for when the announce an announcement would potentially be given. They just said, "Yeah, we got one in the chamber. What about it? What do you want? It's gonna make you all millionaires." Like, when are they planning on talking about it? That's what I want to know. Freaking tell me, Capcom. I demand to know. Before other people, preferably. What is your... Or so. That doesn't look too bad. I can go with it. I think this needs to jet out more a little bit. Oh yeah, then we gotta do this whop and then whop almost forgot. It was a pretty interesting looking comic that appeared on Webtoon today, or at least on the subreddit, and then I checked it out, because they have like a, an episode out. Calling it an episode, though, is pretty generous. It seems more like a teaser, if anything. And I think the, uh, the uh, author comment, or creator comment, rather, said it would be updating every 10 days, which is an interesting schedule, if I'm remembering that right. Let me see if I can find what it was called, but the art was very good, so I'll try to remember it. And by remember it, I mean look it up and then pretend I remembered something. How many views does my test series have now? Curious. Looking, looking. It has 62 views. Why? <laughs> How did that happen? It had like 50-something last time I checked. Where are people going to look for test? I know if you look up test on Webtoon, if you ever want to be a little sad, you can look up test on uh, Webtoon and then see all of the test series that people have made on various accounts. And you can just see that they you check their creator profile and they never actually made a series. So it's just a whole... It's like a graveyard of unfinished ideas and little panels of... Just a bunch of unfinished imagery. Im images, half-baked artwork. It's like, oh my god. That's like unintentionally heartbreaking. Just looking up the word test. Alright, I'm on my subscribed list here. It was called Holistic. And that's the only word that's uh, supposedly going to be a fantasy series. It had a pretty cool hook. For this little, I would call it a teaser episode, if you want to check it out, there it is. But I liked it. It had something going on, and I can only hope that this is the beginning, the, the strong beginning to a good series. Good pace, I'm reading through it now, I'm scrolling. And I've reached the end again. <laughs> uh, look, they crossed off their Twitter. And then it's X. No, it's the Twitter. Never acknowledge X as X. It is Twitter. And I refuse to accept otherwise. Freaking X. What am I, stupid? No. I'm a genius. Alright, lady, maybe straighten out your dang hands. Yeah, I don't know why I decided to angle them like that. Nobody does that with their fingers. I'm doing it again. Why? <laughs> Stop. Bending the fingers. 
Gotta bend them like that if you're going to. a little too long. Shorten the palm a bit. Since there is uh, an ever so slight amount of foreshortening happening in this panel anyway. So I've been looking back at my um, my chapter one pages, the ones I started making before I decided I want to do this prologue, or I wanted to do this prologue. And I don't know, man, something about the way I did the... I've been looking a lot recently into paneling and speech bubble placement. I might have talked about this on stream already, but I think it bears repeating. Or at least talking about if I hadn't brought it up. That, um... I, I I don't know what happened, but I feel like my uh, speech bubble placement in chapter in the chapter one pages, which I had less experience with making, just objectively, I feel like the the speech bubble placement was just way better. And I'll be I'll talk about this again when I actually get around to releasing pages, uh, especially when I actually release chapter one itself, which will take a bit, not too long though. If I'm releasing two a week, I'm gonna start off releasing like I don't know like twelve pages on day one, because you gotta get people in early. If you don't have the three episodes at the start with a little something extra, it's gonna be harder to hook people. So I'm gonna release probably like 12 pages on the first day, and then two every week from that point onwards until I run out. Which will happen because I have a full-time job at night. But yeah, I do feel like, I don't know what happened, but in my, my prologue speech bubbles, I've been trying to re, uh, reacquaint myself with what I like about those first, about those chapter one pages and why they seem to flow so well. And I'm trying my best. I don't know what I was doing. I was on some dope stuff, apparently. Just, just the, in the right alignment of the mind to do a uh, comic, uh, to do comic pages better, or at least make them flow better than, uh, I do at the current moment. I don't know what happened, but there's been some sort of transition. And I will need to reacclimate myself with uh, something that works. I've been trying to figure it out. Something to do with um, leading a viewer's eye with how you place your speech bubbles. Because there's something in how you do it with layout. Something I've noticed that I should be doing more is when I have a panel, you want to put the speech bubble generally towards the top, unless you have a reason for it being somewhere in the middle. Like if the art demands it. That's one thing. But generally, uh, you know, up top, usually top left, so that when you go to the next panel, say the speech bubble's over here, the art will be here and it'll flow through the art as you look for the next speech bubble. And the art's here. And say so you have another panel down here. Speech bubble's up here, and then the next one's here. And then here, and then you'll just guide the reader through it. So I've been trying to get back into properly placing those so that they flow. I think sometimes I have it where it's like, I'll have them connected. The speech bubbles, the art, and some, maybe another thing I've noticed is that I think sometimes my speech bubbles take up more of the panel. 
than they should. I've been trying to get a hold of that again, because I think in Chapter 1 it was pretty well balanced. I noticed that in Chapter 1, a lot of the pages didn't have more than like six panels. Six or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is seven, but like these two would probably be aligned and the this vertical boundary would be more towards the center. So I would pro I generally have more space. I think I'm getting a little too cute recently with the uh, the number of panels I'm putting on a page when I could space them out more. Even though that runs the risk of me having me uh, or requiring me to start a, another like a whole another page just to get all the illustrations and the content that I need to make the story flow better. But it's probably worth it, as opposed to the alternative, which is just having badly flowing panels because they're all mushed together. I found one YouTuber talking about manga panel pacing, which is this... It, it's, it's a principle that applies to comics, where it's like, you can start off with a big focal point panel, and then as the page goes on, your panels could get smaller until the very end. And what that does is it starts to build tension because the, there's more actions sequentially packed into that space which slows down time a bit, builds suspense a bit more. And then when you go to the next page, you kind of repeat the process. You get a big reveal and then smaller as you go on. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do that for every scenario in your story. But it's been interesting trying to know the difference, because I mainly think about comics, in a, or at least the paneling, as more of like a cinematic language type thing. I've been thinking about them as storyboards, which has worked in certain ways. Like, it helps me not break the 180 degree rule, which is unanimous with all forms of sequential storytelling. So in some ways, it helps you, you know, like think of your panels as camera angles. That's another thing it helps with. But there are differences that have to be noted between comics and movies and the storyboards and the function that both of them provide. So I've been trying to learn those differences. They're, they're very subtle ones that most people won't even pay attention to, or that they don't normally pay attention to, unless something's wrong with it. That's when you start to notice. At the very, you know, and I shouldn't really put too much pressure on myself. This is the first comic I've made to this degree of planning. I'm, I'm gonna just, I'll say it right now. I shouldn't count the ones that I made when I was like 12, writing on printer paper. So we're gonna say this is actually the first comic I made, <laughs> so that I don't have to think about those ones. Because they were Garbo, as they were supposed, as they were, you know, probably always going to be. It's inevitable. What is this finger, dude? What is this hand, dude? All right, I gotta fix this again. I think I made the palm too long again. A couple things I have a habit of making too long. I got the palms and I got the necks. Those are usually my problem. Just a little thing I gotta work on. What is up with this hand? I gotta fix this. Hmm, 
maybe it is just heightening the perspective that's the problem. Maybe it's just the wrong orientation. Maybe it's supposed to be more downwards facing. We'll try that. Have you read the comic that's called Get Schooled? I have not. Is it good? Is it a bay? I would I, I would suppose it's one of those two. Cause nobody recommends anyone a mediocre comic. Yeah, I like it. Well that might be the very case that just happened then, I don't know. Let me let me look it up. Get schooled. I should add comic. Oh, no, there it is. I found it. No, I haven't. But I have seen this guy with the baton in the thumbnail. Or the banner art. This uh, punk-looking dude. You know, he kind of reminds me of um, an OC that I have in this very story. I don't know who this handsome devil is. If I can get over there. But uh, this guy is very familiar. I've seen this face posted around. I like his haircut. And his facial hair and just his face is the design of his face is very good. I will say that it's just good. Expression helps sell it too. Good expressions on this one. Seem to work out even the worst of the school bullies. There is no better man for the job. Sometimes you can't get a good education until the bullies are taught a lesson. That sounds messed up. I like it. I will check that out. I do gotta speed up though if I do plan on finishing the line art today. Nobody tells Steak that I'm drawing a foot right now. He can't be seen around them. Not since the incident. In fact, let's move on as quickly as possible so that he can't... He doesn't have a chance to show up while it's on screen. hand looks weird to me. And I don't know why. Maybe it's this. 
Let's try, let's try fixing this. Nope, that made it look worse. That might have made it better. I do wonder if I should try to fit her sleeve in here, but the perspective is hard. And hard perspective makes me want to give up. So I'll just move on again. Until maybe I come back to it at a different point in time. A thing we made up. God, this song is just stuck in my head. I'll be having nightmares about it. Every time I hear it, it'll, it'll get stuck in my head for like the rest of the day. In the worst way possible. Gotta hear a stare theme. Nobody wants you. With your stupid zip line. I will say. Even though. I'm a little iffy on my chapter outlines that I was talking about earlier. Uh, chapters two. No, yeah. Is it chapter two? I guess technically, yeah. Chapters 2 and 3. They should be pretty good. They are some of my more favorites coming up. Chapter 2 for sure is probably my favorite. When the comic actually comes out. I haven't done any panels for it yet, obviously. I'm still on the freaking prologue. About halfway through, I think. I would like to say I'm farther along, but I don't think I am. We'll see what happens. I don't really... I've never done an action sequence before in comic form. So I don't know how long that's gonna take me. Generally, it's like a few... It's like a, a smaller number of illustrations on the page, but they're bigger. And take up more space. Hey, Gabino, hello. Halber. Welcome in. So we'll see if that speeds up the process or makes it slower. I don't know. I've, like I said, I've never done action sequences. I don't freaking know what they are. Or how they work. I've drawn dynamic poses as like isolated illustrations, but that's not the same. How's it going, Halber? What have you been up to? If you feel like sharing. If you don't feel like sharing, uh, make something up. Make something cool up if you don't want to share. Became a professional stuntman, maybe. That's what I would say. That's a pretty cool thing to make up. Done watching the latest RE movie, which one? Like the animated one? Or the, I would hope it's not the latest live action one, because one, those are all bad, and two, they came out forever ago. <laughs> Yeah, Death Island. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen any of those. I've seen clips of the one with uh, Mr. X in it. Tyrant, as they call him. But outside of that, I have not watched those. I do know they are, at the very least, the, however, a little bit m better received than the live-action ones because... How could they not? How could they not be? Live action ones are dookie garbage. And the more you learn about them, the worse it gets. Like how the director, <laughs> sorry, getting choked up, not really. But how the director just had like no regard for their stunt crew. Some lady, I think, would like lost her hand or something. There's like a whole thing. If you look up the Resident Evil live action movie, and I think if you just look up motorcycle accident, you'll get the whole story. CGI ones are better. Just avoid the Netflix ones. That's what I hear. Yeah, Resident Evil stunt woman. She lost her arm. 
over a botched stunt because the freaking... Of course those movies were a disaster both on and behind the screen. Can't believe it. But also I can totally believe it. Man, there's, so there's like a whole, there's like a whole subgenre of CGI Resident Evil movies. There's ones on Netflix, and then where are the other ones? Yeah, are they just on like DVD or like you know special websites? Ahem, ahem, ahem. Is that how I would easily find the non-Netflix ones? I love Monster Hunter soundtracks. Me too. Part of the reason I played it today. The other reason being Capcom's mysterious announcement. Blu-rays. Oh, that makes sense. Man, the Monster Hunter World 2 trailer is going to be so sick. I hope they went whole hog into the... Uh, the RE engine, because the first Monster Hunter World was made in the, uh, whatever their old engine was called, MT Framework or something like that. But now they have the RE engine, and they know it works because we got it working for Rise, and Rise was stuck on the Switch, but on PC it looks pretty good, but it still had to look like the Switch hardware. So I'm ready for pure RE engine next generation Monster Hunter to just show up and look crazy. Just absurd amount of polygons and texture work. That's like photo scanned in. Doing that thing that uh, DICE did for Battlefront, the new Battlefront games where they just actually photo, what are they? It's like photo bashing, but for 3D modeling. I forget what they called it. But they just scanned in real textures and that's why the rocks and snow and stuff in Battlefront, in the Battlefront games look so good. The environments in Battlefront, for, you know, regardless of the rest of the game, they look nuts. Hold up really well. And now I have a PS5 so I can actually run the new Mon Hun with good graphics. True! And it's probably going to have cross-play. So, uh, when the time comes, you could probably be playing with anybody you want. We could yell at you to just get into the lobby. Whenever we want. Assuming you bought an online thing, because I know that's freaking... Sony? Excuse me. But you know, that's, there's plenty of time between now and then to get an online subscription to Sony's garbage. Out of necessity. PlayStation Gold or whatever. No, they have PlayStation Plus. Xbox Gold is the one with the gold in it. How does World and Rise play on the PS5? I wouldn't know about Rise. I played that on PC and the Switch. I assume it runs fine on the PS5. World runs great on the PS5. Seeing that game at 60 frames per second, freaking beautiful. Gorgeous video game. Very smooth. It was almost weird, because I had the base model PS4. I didn't have a PS4 Pro ever, because, eh, I didn't care. Sometimes my PS4 would sound like a jet turbine, but that was the worst of it. I know it's on the shop, it's just pretty good. But uh, when you get the when I got the PS5 and I saw it running at 60 frames per second for the first time ever for me, I was like, oh my god. This game looks magical. <laughs> it's great. I didn't know 60 frames per second was still a... Uh, such a sizable gap. I thought I was accustomed to the 30 frames per second lifestyle. But no, you can always be converted. Never be too sure of yourself. It's, uh, it's probably gonna happen if I ever get a new monitor uh, and it has like 144 hertz on it or something, I'm pretty sure I'll have that same thing where it's like, it just seems optional. But the moment you actually experience it, you're like, oh my god. 
How did I live without this? For this long? What the heck, dude? Good thing is that I've, uh, I re-enter school on the 8th of August, and the sale ends on the 16th. Is that where you get your, your money? From, sh from the school era? I know you said you tutored people. Do you plan on doing the same thing? Money for food, eh? I see what you're doing. I respect it. If I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not a song, this is seagull noises. What is going on? Excuse me. Monster Hunter is called the Great Waterfall. That is not, this is just a waterfall noise. Give me music. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, the music of water and gravity. Some would argue it is a musical thing. I would say, shut up. Well, I wouldn't say that. I would think it, though. And they would get so owned in my mind palace. I usually have money for food, and I can keep what is left at the end of the week. That's a pretty good deal. I was usually just given exactly the amount of money I needed uh, per the day that I went in to buy lunch at, at... I almost said at food. I mean at school. I'm at soup. No. So I buy the cheapest food I can find sometimes going full on. I mean, at least you're eating food. I will never talk trash about anybody who at least eats food. Duh, you know, regardless of how questionable their the nutritional content of said food is because I had a, I knew a kid in um, my high school I say kid but he is that he's definitely still the same age as me and was at the time anyway so uh, he would just like never eat in school and when yeah you, if you'd ask him about it it didn't seem like he ate that much outside of school either the dude was just like it seemed like he had some kind of eating disorder I'll be real with you because sometimes it just seemed like he would eat vitamins or whatever or supplements. I think at some point we did learn that he was on, like, vitamins just because he just would never eat. It was kind of messed up. I hope he's doing good now. Uh, I did become friends with that guy, so I, you know, haven't spoken to him in a long time. I wouldn't even know how to contact him, but it's like, that's just something you don't really forget. It's just the, the guy in your school who would rarely eat so, you know, if you're getting food, even if it's cheap food, more power to you. As long as you get food. And there are these sandwiches that are like a dollar and a bit, which are pretty good. Well, that's nice. That's good. Like I said, as long as you got something. Just put the food in your mouth. In your human mouth. Not your bare mouth. Don't do that. Oh yeah, by the way, what class did you play in the big flying lizard dogma game? Um, I think eventually I played all of them. Because that just kind of happens when you're platinuming a game. That was one of the few games that I 100 percented. So, I think all of them at some point. Mo the one that I wanted to main, I didn't end up maining it, but one of the last ones I tried out was, I think it's called Mystic Knight. It's one where you get like a shield and you can spawn like orbs in front of you, and if you hit the orb with your weapon, you can generate magic projectiles. It's a really weird class, but the, the, the shield tech was interesting. Like you get perfect parry stuff with your shield. Let me look if that's what, yeah, Mystic Knight, Dragon's Dogma. But the one I played the most... See if I can find it. I've forgotten the name of all of this stuff. Dragon's Dogma Classes. 
Uh, vocations, sorry. They call them vocations because it, they're cool and quirky. Um, is it magic archer or is it assassin? Or is it strider? It's not strider because that's a basic vocation. Magic archer, it might have been magic archer or assassin. I think it was assassin. Assassin was basically like the most overpowered one of all time. Yeah, it was definitely assassin because you could just get a bow and arrow and you could scale up your strength stat with these items. I forget what they're called, but there's these consumables that you could just buy an absurd amount of at some point. And they would make your strength stat so high that you could kill like endgame bosses and just like a couple volleys of arrows. It was really broken, but I did enjoy doing it. So it's like Skyrim. If you want to have fun with that game and have it be a pretty easy experience, play on normal mode because the hard mode, they don't tell you this for Dragon's Dogma 1, but it's definitely meant for a New Game Plus playthrough. Do not do what I did, which was be like, yeah, I'm a gamer. I'm going to start with hard mode. Don't do it. The game was not designed. It will try to convince you that it was designed for that, but it was not. Play normal mode. And then you could do New Game Plus stuff on hard and all that. Otherwise, it ain't worth it. Assassin also has that automatic counter, right? I don't remember. It's been a long time. I basically 100%ed that game with all of my might, and then I dropped it, because obviously there's nothing left to do. I put all my, my being and my essence into it, and I had nowhere else to go. So it might have an automatic counter. Could not tell you. I am curious to see where they take the combat in uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. Is it going to get more Shadow of the Colossus like? Or are they going to are they are they going to flesh out the subsystem where you can climb all over the monster and do whatever you want within reason? You can't like suplex them or put them in a chokehold, much to my chagrin. This is a tangent. Get out of here. Freaking tangents. What do you think? Only I can go on tangents, not my art. I did mess around with some of the mage classes in Dragon's Dogma. They're a little basic, a little bland, though. You kind of just charge up for a long time and then release the button and then a big spell comes out. It's pretty much exactly what you expect. They didn't really feel too interesting in Dragon's Dogma 1. Maybe they make it more interesting. They should flesh that out in Dragon's Dogma 2. Rework the magic system. That would be nice. In my opinion. When do you think the next big showcase will be? I don't know. When is Tokyo Game Show happening? Did that already happen this year? What is what is the next big game thing? Or like a PlayStation showcase? 2023. Uh, summer 20... Uh, yeah, I guess Summer Games Fest already happened.
uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there's really nothing going on. Wait, yeah, Summer Games Fest happened in June. Uh, I doubt anything interesting will happen at Comic-Con. That doesn't seem like the place where something would happen. There's a Nintendo Live event happening in September, apparently. That could be something. Uh, Tokyo Game Show is happening in September. There it is. I'm gonna guess that'll be where Capcom shows up next. I don't know if it'll be a... If, if, it's, if they'll show the title that they're talking about. This mysterious millions of units selling title that they've been talking about. But I wouldn't be surprised if they show up at Tokyo Game Show in September. Did, I wonder if they have the roster of the companies attending out already. I should look at that. PAX. Nothing happens at PAX except for indie games. If you're into indie games, you could check out PAX usually, but... Oh, the Game Awards are happening in December. Obviously, so there's something. Forgot all about the Game Awards. Tokyo Game Show roster 2023 let's see if we got oh we do have capcom confirmed to be there we have bandai namco probably going to show off when is armored core coming out armored core comes out august okay so probably not going to be either because it's coming out before the event happens Bandai Namco, Capcom, Ahoyoverse, freaking Star Rail, <laughs> can't believe. Get out of here. No one cares about you, Genshin Impact Company. Leave. Take your waifus with you. Konami's gonna be there for some reason. I guess they still think they're a video game company. That's cute. Uh, level 5. I like some level 5 stuff. I think there could be a cool announcement from level 5 games. They made the Nino Cooney stuff and some Professor Layton stuff. They got some good stuff. More Tyco. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, also they got Microsoft. I don't know what Microsoft's uh, Japanese division has been working on, but I guess they're going to be here. Uh, Sega and Atlas are going to be there. That could be cool. Probably going to get some more Yakuza information. Maybe some Persona. I don't know. Koei Tecmo. They got some cool stuff sometimes. Square Enix. I don't know if they'll talk about anything interesting, but they are Square Enix, so they have the they have the money to just come out with something interesting out of nowhere. They also have the money to just throw big projects away. MGS3 Remake is by Konami, right? Yeah, you're probably right. That is probably going to be there. They do own that little bit of Kojima's past. And will likely never let go. Alright, let's hide this so I can see what I'm freaking doing. This looks a little off now that I'm looking at it. get stake. I should have a temporary... There should be a thing where you can block certain people's vision for your stream, but not everybody's. That way I can block stake whenever a foot shows up on my stream. I don't think I'm going to be drawing too many of them, but just in the off chance that he shows up while one's here. You play a game called Tokyo Jungle? Let me look it up to make sure. That would bode no. But I just want to make sure. No, I have not played this game. What is this Pomeranian here? <laughs> Look, he looks very savage, very fierce. A survival action game developed by Crispies? What? 
or a game called Fez. I have played Fez. That game I've played. I have never, I've not played this Tokyo Jungle game. This looks, uh, and forgive me for saying so, but it looks truly wild. Like, I can't even comprehend. It was like an animal RPG. What is happening? Oh yeah, Fez is cool. I've played that. It's a bit of a, a little bit of a subversive platformer, messes around with perspective and all that. There's dinosaurs as well, of course there is. What are you even thinking about making a video game without dinosaurs in it? Spending so much time on these panels like a jabroni. And I gotta draw the faces too. Yeah, that's gonna be another thing. Everything's taking too dang long, man. Never make a comic, boys and girls. That's my moral of the story. Unless you really want to. In which case, be prepared to get very sleepy all the time. It takes a lot of mental energy just to do all this stuff. It's a good thing my my day job, I, sh I should call it my night job. But my job that pays th my bills... Uh, it's a good thing that is not very creatively demanding. I can put stuff on a shelf and turn my brain off and listen to D&D &D podcasts. Basically until time itself stops, until the universe's heat death starts setting in. But, you know, I can only work on this comic for so many hours before I start feeling like, oh boy, that was taxing. I feel worse, <laughs> but also I made progress, so I feel better about that. Like, if I worked on this comic, even though I would love to, but if I just, like, directly transitioned from doing it for the couple hours a day, I'm doing it now. Uh, to like eight hours a day, I think I would become physically ill. I think I would get like a rhinovirus at the very least. Which is the best name for a cold. Here's the trailer if you want, I need to share this game. I played a lot of it when I was little. I was sleepy. Stop. Pause. Click. Pause. Boop. Bam. Bop. Sony Computer. Japan Studio. Rest in peace. I think they're disbanded, right? Could be wrong, but I think that happened. Alright, we're going some interesting places. Humans vanished from to like only Tokyo? Animals have taken over? That seems unlikely. Surely other people would have come in and been like, Hey, what's going on in Tokyo? There's like nothing here. There is only one law. Only the strong survive. That's a freaking lion, bro. That's a, that's a beagle? But I don't think he's gonna win. You can be monkey? Oh my god. Now you know the pandas are loose and they're too lazy to even reproduce. Form a pack of chickens? Oh, excuse me. What was going on there? No, 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 no. Excuse me. We're going back. I talked about National Geographic happening in Baldur's Gate. You were going to explain yourself. Video game. What did I see? Yeah, that's what I thought I was looking at. That's what I thought. That's what I thought I was looking at. Alright. Meeting adjourned. 
how much of that cutscene actually plays out in game, alright? I better not continue too much further past the point of no return. Tokyo Jungle. TM. Oh my god, ew, that's what it looked like, everyone. That was the PlayStation 3, and we liked it. Well, that is a very interesting concept for a game, aside from the dog breeding, the sudden dog breeding that I was not ready for. That aside, seems pretty neat. Said rated T on the box, man. Can't be showing that. I guess teenagers know that animals come from somewhere, so it makes sense. How that how that got that way on the ratings boards. No, on this stream, I have advocated for not being a prude about nudity. I think Western society places too much of an emphasis on it in terms of stigmas and what have you. But there's a difference between nudity in your video game and being prudish about that and just showing a freaking dog getting ready, you know? I don't even want to go into it. It's a whole mechanic, I figured. But it's like, oh my god, I didn't expect them to just go full on for that. And they showed three-fourths of the mounting process, which is three-fourths more than I thought any game rated T would have the cojones to show. Oh god, this is Tangent City. I gotta avoid all this. Now his arm looks too dainty. Get a bigger arm, dude. That's better. Still too dainty. You, this guy's a thick boy, so he needs to have a lo a large arm. That's better, but it's. I feel like it's even then. Let me like more. This dude's arm is wide. That might be better. Better. How many voice cracks this stream so far? Five, eleven, a million. Wouldn't put it past myself. As everybody knows, I am only 14 years old. You can tell by my very deep and developed voice. Outside of the voice cracks. As many as you can remember, so not a lot. I remember none. Actually, it's, I don't even know why I brought it up in that case. So I guess I'm in the clear uh, for whatever I was talking about. Whatever that was, I don't know. I can't remember a lot of things. I can half remember so many things. If people only needed half of a factoid or a piece of information, I would be the guy to go to. I can half remember anything. Being like, oh yeah, what year did the War 1812 take place? Probably, I don't know, somewhere in the 1800s. Space, that's all I can muster, usually. What was it fought over? Uh, something about French territories, I think. Now I'm fact-checking myself. What was it fought over? Disagreements over trade, Western expansion, and Native American policy. But the French were in there, right? It was a U.S. and Great British, Great Britain war. The great, it was a Great British Bake Off, so to speak, of epic proportions. War of eighteen twelve, France, the French War of eighteen twelve was another war. Okay, so see, this is what happened. I half remembered the, um... As an important neutral trading agent, the United States became ensnarled in the European conflict that pitted Napoleonic France against Great Britain. So I had half remembered France being involved and the U.S. getting roped into it 
over their territory disputes in the United States of America. I just conflated the two things. And then there's the French invasion of Russia. That also happened in the Patriotic War of 1812. I'm getting lost in the sauce. There's so many things happening in 1812. So yeah, this is my problem. I can half remember so many things. But don't expect me to know a whole fact. I can't do that. That's too much. Absolutely not. I refuse. With two plus two, do it yourself. I cannot be bothered. Did you know that clams can change their sex depending on what is required of them? How do they do it? I don't know. I just know that they can. That's another half factoid from me to you. I got millions of them. Did you know that tigers, uh, they have striped skin beneath their fur? So you can determine which color is their dominant color? Do I remember which one is their dominant color? No. But I know that one of them is their dominant color. Half factoid of the day. Another one. Put it on the list. Are they orange with black stripes or black with orange stripes? I don't remember. But I know there's a difference. And that one of them is right. Yeah, something tells me. In order to finish this page's quote-unquote line art today, I will have to continue making that distinction that I always do. For the purposes of saying that I've made progress today, where the faces do not count as line art, they are faces. I just feel the need to keep doing that. Because they take me so much more time than anything else. Not really. I just get too much pressure built up in my head about how I want them to look. And I fear that one of these times it will just take forever to get one to look correct. So it's not even that the faces take me a while, it's just like, eh, what if one of them does? What if I get really caught up in an expression? It rarely happens these days, but it used to happen a lot in my art. Which is probably why I'm so bent out of shape about just drawing faces right now. To this day. Because I used to be bad at them to the point where I could not place facial features to save my own life. In a way that looks semi-convincing. Luckily I'm a little bit more keen to it these days, but uh, the pressure is still there subconsciously. Blessing and a curse, I guess. It makes me more aware of the facial feature placement, but I, I do stress out over it a little bit more than I probably should internally. It may not sound like I'm stressing out over it because uh, of my <laughs> somewhat restrained delivery of everything that I say, but I assure you it's there.
Hmm, this arm is going to be a little wild if we just keep him at this elevation. So I think we're going to have to raise him up. Or at the very least to rotate him. Maybe both. Maybe rotate him this way so his arm is like... And this is interesting. This is a new dilemma I did not foresee. Instead of facial feature placement, it is arm placement. I guess her head would have to be lower is the thing. So let's try moving that. Yeah, this will have to be moved down here. Really gotta make space for that arm on the resting on the shoulder and the neck here. And also it actually probably makes more sense if I move this down. Just looking at the structure of her torso in this angle, or at this angle would make more sense if it was like like so so it's a good thing I caught this early enough it's not the worst thing in the world to fix it's definitely more hunched over than I gave it credit for in this panel here I suppose it wouldn't be too impossible while we're talking about that Capcom uh, mis mystery game for it to be a Mega Man. How many? Did they specify how many millions of copies they plan on uh, it selling? Capcom. What do I even look up to find this? Capcom new game announcement? Capcom to release a new game is sure to sell millions by March 2024. So it's going to sell the copies by March 2024, which means it's going to come out earlier. Yeah, that could be... If that's the next Monster Hunter, that's coming out soon. Oh no, they say they're preparing to announce a game... That was projected to sell millions of copies by March 2020. That's very weird phrasing. But I think the they mean the announcement will come out by March 2024. Not that it will sell the copies by March 2024. Weird phrasing. Two verbs and then a date. Which one is it? So they just say millions. That could be... Anything. Gero! How... Dare you? Welcome to the stream. So, hello, everyone. Can you hear my raid announcement that I totally have? I definitely set that up by now. Hi, everyone. I'm Zotan. I do art. Or I try. Welcome in, everybody. We're doing what I normally do. I've been making a comic for a while. Raid <laughs> announcement. Hey, there's that emote. Girl, have you explained to people in your chat what that is <laughs> and why you have it? Or have you just had it and then explained nothing as a power move? Purely to uh, assert dominance. No? <laughs> okay. More power to you. It is me, for anyone who's curious. It's a tier 3 emote, no one else but me has it. Yeah, but I assume they could see it in like the emote list. And I assume somebody would have been like, what is going on with that?
Garrow made that emote specifically to spite me. For no other reason. Because they hate me. I did. <laughs> Admittance in the face of guilt. Art looks great so far. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been working on this for a long time, and I'm going to be working on it for a much longer time. Still with taking note of the lore. Yeah, my lore. And definitely not things that you just think you should take note of. <laughs> and for no reason whatsoever. You guys want to see the thumbnail for the comic I've been making? If anyone wants to, here it is. Wait, I gotta make sure I'm not showing the old one. I redid it recently. Here's my protagonist. I redid this recently, so I've just, I decided I'm gonna keep showing it off. If anyone wants to see what more finished artwork looks like, is that my test comic? Get that away from me. <laughs> Get the, there's nothing there. That is my. Oh no, it's my uh, my profile in general. I thought that was specifically my test comic. Okay. That's fine. Go read. There's literally nothing to read. This thumbnail is more content than what's in that test comic. Go read the test comic. I'm going to strangle at least one person. And it might be myself. Why did I do that? I gotta undo all this. There we go. Just wait. I put that back. Wait, did I do it again? Yeah, put that back. Follow the green goblin. Have you got a desk yet? No. Wink. With both eyes. If you guys want to see a more finished comic panel, this is usually what they are likely to look like in the future. When I actually do all the shenanigans with the color and the whatnot and the backgrounds and such and etc. And what have you. I'm not a hamster. I'm a goblin. And a man. But yeah, I've been doing this prologue for this comic for a while now. It's going it's going all right. It's going as smooth as it can when you only work on it for a couple hours every weekday or so. I do wish I could do more, but I just uh, I simply cannot. Such as life. That's life. As Frank Sinatra would say. And as uh funny as it may seem, some people get their kicks stomping on a dream. That's all the lyrics I got to that song. I have to hop away because I might be getting a migraine. Okay, sorry to hear it. Have fun. I will leave you up on the PC. I appreciate it. Gero, as always. Thank you for stopping in. And for throwing people at me. Now the pressure is mounting. However will I perform doing the exact same thing that I always do? I'm doing that thing again. I will speak in a monotone voice, but the panic is mounting. If you haven't already followed Zotan, don't do that. If you truly want to, that's fine, but don't do it. I don't recommend it. I will be making this comic almost exclusively if, as in terms of my content, if you want to put it that way. Too bad! Oh, man. Well, I really can't even argue with that. There's not enough substance to argue with. Yeah, yeah, thank you for the f follow. Uh, I guess. It'll be my angle, I think. Uh, very soon to a live streamer. That'll be my, my angle, my approach. So Tim won't argue with Gero only this time. You put that in your notes, you're going to be unpleasantly surprised when I start arguing with you. When we start playing whatever collab game we're going to do next, I will be so antagonistic. <laughs> it's going to be unbearable. I 
I'm gonna say so many things contrary to what is apparently happening. I look forward to it's gonna be gaslighting central from both ends, I assume. Later, Yarrow. Maybe I should just give my channel to Gera. They really do be putting in the most work to get in this stream. Any viewership. Beyond, uh, my regulars. And my irregulars. Oops, what did I do? I think, uh, I think Mask. To be honest with you, I think you are the only one I can qualify as an actual regular at this point. And even then, I am aware that's probably only because you don't have classes right now. So, I things are going to change. I need... I will, I will have run out of people who have nothing to do at this hour of the day. Whatever will I do? I'm gonna starve. I'm not gonna make any income off my unaffiliated channel that doesn't do anything. I really wish this arm would figure itself out so I didn't have to. Her neck would be like here, so his arm can go like here. Oh yeah, I got the unfortunate schedule of no breaks at all this semester. Yikes. That sounds bad. I never had no breaks. We had, actually, we had a mandatory break period in our, in my high school anyway. It was called advisement. It was like a 20 minute block every day. It seemed kind of useless at the time, but I can see now how it might have been very beneficial to have that rather than to not have it. 8.30 to 2.30 only classes. Ew. That sounds nasty. That sounds worse than my college schedule. My college schedules were actually pretty lax. I had days off. Like multiple days off. In a, I, I probably had like, I think I had three days off. Uh, at most, at one point, while I was doing college classes. And that was a very good couple of semesters. Remember I entered honor classes, those took the breaks? Yeah, I had honors classes too, but we had, like I said, we had, like, advisement. So we just had breaks built into our school schedule. I am now realizing how much of a privilege that was. I did not at the time, but now I do. But I do remember taking honors classes. The honors classes never really kicked my butt, though. Aside from uh, advanced calculus. That almost made me fail a class. Which would have been the first and only time I failed anything. In terms of grades, I mean. I have failed many things outside of that. School was one of the few things I was actually okay at. Which is why, when you graduate college and you're not good at many other things, you do get a bit of that postgraduate depression where you're like, well, I did all that school stuff and now it, it turns out it was all useless, at least for me. Some people get a college degree in like engineering or something. I'm sure it helps you out great. I got a degree in graphic design that has done approximately nothing for, I would imagine, anyone because it's all about your portfolio more often than not. So I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just working at a grocery store for now. So that I have enough money to buy literally anything. And pay bills. And then uh, I'm working on a comic as a hobby. And that's and that's basically it. Right? That's the story of my life. Uh, at the current moment. I will say I have not tried applying to a graphic design job in... Well, since I started working at the grocery store. Like a few months ago by now. I might want to get on that because I ain't going to be one of those guys who you check, you look at him and he's like 50 something years old and you're like, has he been working at this Walmart? I don't work at Walmart, but that's just an example. At this Walmart, like his whole life, and it's like, probably, maybe. I don't want to be that guy. 
I don't want to be working at a grocery store for my career. I have other ambitions currently. The, the life has not been beaten out of me yet. Despite what climate change would try to do to all of us. Freaking wildfires. Why are there so many? Why is the world so hot and dry? What happened? I didn't do it. It was big oil. And big plastic. Those guys are terrible. Can't trust them. Now there's plastic in the freaking fish, dude. And the fish are dying because the water's too hot to hold oxygen. Everything's upside down. So I'm glad that I can just make this comic while I can. I'm, I'm just going to keep making it. I will avoid the existential crisis by painting a fantasy realm. That's what they did in Dark Souls. That's like the literal plot to the ending of the Dark Souls franchise is escape into a painting. Spoilers for the DLC. But, you know, you probably wouldn't even have figured that out even if you played it <laughs> without a lore video or two, I'll be honest with you. That's not a slight on anyone's intelligence or the ability to comprehend the story of Dark Souls games. That's a slight on the fact that those games don't really have a story. You gotta piece it together. Through lore tidbits and item descriptions. And it's very annoying. If you're just trying to understand what's happening. But I do love the gameplay, so... And the aesthetic, so... And sometimes I do try to piece together the lore, but... Mainly only for the first and third games. Second game's a little whatever. Who cares? It's Dark Souls 2. Nobody care about Dark Souls 2. Mm -hmm. Except for the DLC, because the DLC was fire. For no reason. Don't know how they did it. 8.30 to 2.30 is a unique school schedule, though. My school had us get up at the crack of dawn. You had to get up early for that stuff. I think we were in school by 7 in the morning. Which means I was up at like 6. So, you know, it was crazy. Can't stand that. Luckily, I don't have to anymore, but it, I was barely getting through it towards the end of senior year of high school. And then college comes along and you could just, you could start your day at like three in the afternoon if your class is lined up that way. Quite a big tonal shift. One that I was fine with, 100% of fine with. Three days is from 7.30 to... It changes? That's even weirder <laughs> to me. That is truly bizarre. Coming from uh, an American viewpoint here. Never in my life would I, have a, would I have imagined a school schedule that fluctuates in terms of its hours. Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8.30. Interesting. This is fascinating news. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is that like a common thing over there, or is that like a, a your district in particular is a, is a little wacky, and they just like to do it that way? I can't think of any school district around here that would do that. That would have the audacity to change its hours. Like a part-time McDonald's job.
Everyone has a different schedule? Oh my god. So you have, like, the college thing going on already. Well, at least my experience of college. Stateside. Well, your schedule is kind of just predetermined by classes. That is interesting that they do that earlier than they do it here. The world is a different place depending on if you're in a different place. Who'd have thought? I have friends that have two free hours but are out at like 3.30, some at 4.30, yeah. That is uh, basically a... Uh, more aligning with how I went went about my college experience. How do I draw this fool's arm? It's making me so angry. And move, do I need to move her head more? Maybe. Just really, just really make room for that arm there. Yeah, I shouldn't be getting so bent out of shape about the faces taking too long when I have stuff like this that can keep me occupied all stream, apparently. It really just depends on how you look at it. What do you want to get hung up on today? That Then you could just choose to get hung up on it. Will it be a face, or will it just be an arm in the background? Okay. Should be better now. Why does Marissa have a super that's basically a counter? I don't know. That's her whole thing, it's just it's super armor. Which I have my grievances with. Just as a concept. Freaking super armor characters. Ew. Like you pressed a button at the same time I pressed a button, but yours has a better inherent property. I don't get it. It ain't fair I'm getting destroyed. Yeah, I haven't played Street Fighter 6 in a while. Something tells me I would also be getting destroyed. I feel like the player base is already evolving without me. Someday I'll get my, my gold rank Ken up there, though. I'll get him into platinum or something, I don't know. At least I'm not one of those bad Wi-Fi Kens anymore. I used to be that stereotype to a T. The only difference was that I wasn't Brazilian. Was the only thing I had differentiating me from the 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 Wi-Fi kins of the internet. Now this finger is the one that's the most extended in this neutral position, and then the other fingers curl up more. I've heard Rashid is really fun. I would be curious to try him out. Have not had the opportunity. 
and I'm hesitant to buy DLC for a game I have not played in a while. Why did I say it like that? In a while? In a while. What accent is that even? Is that anything? I ain't played the game in a while. That's nothing. I've made up a location. Let's see, how does thumb work again? Maybe it moves out a bit more. That's the problem here. I don't know how I'm going to get the, the other panels of this done on time. Quote unquote on time. I have no deadlines, but I must scream. does that look worse? It looks truly bizarre. Hmm, this hand hands are being tricky today. Mine and the characters. Try angling them outwards a bit more. The fangers, that is. This is something. Something is happening here. Is it the right thing? I don't know. How many more panels we got? We got one, two, th I think just the two. So we're not too far behind. This finger's too wide. Troubleshooting this hand is so weird. Let's flip it. See if it looks serviceable at best, because we're going to have to move on with it, regardless of its quality at some point. I think it looks okay. Could be better, could be worse. The could be worse is what gives me the strength to move on sometimes. Is this good enough? 
keep look I keep looking at the dang arm. And then I wonder to myself. Mm. And that's really the end of the thought process there. But I do wonder that. It's not very helpful, but I do think that exact thing about 40 times. No. Don't do that. No. Mm -hmm. I am my own enemy. What's that song? Everyone around me is my enemy or everybody wants to be my enemy? I don't know. I would rewrite that song to be like, uh, to state that I am my own enemy. Nobody else is my enemy. I don't have enemies. Insert the, the Vagabond, what is it? I almost said Vagrant Story, that's the video game. And it's not Vagabond. Enemy by Imagine Dragon, that's the one, thank you. Vinland Saga, thank you. I was also thinking that I'll half remember anything. I swear. Started with a V, that's all that I got. Started with a V, animate with Vikings. Hmm. It's impossible to tell. Could be anything. I give up. It's where I went mentally for that. I do have to watch uh, that show, or at least read it. Maybe I'll just buy it. Do they have a box set? Do they have hard covers for that? I'm willing to be very wasteful with my money. I know they have hard covers for Full Metal Alchemist, and you have no idea how much restraint it has taken me to not just go, yeah, this is my next paycheck. There it goes. Oops. The main thing stopping me from doing that is that I don't have space for it. To just, I don't have a manga shelf. I'm not like one of those guys yet. But I'd like to be. I do have the box set of Claymore just sitting over there. By my dresser. It would look nicer if it had a shelf to go with it. Ah, oh, God, this looks so bad. Ah, stop looking bad. Look decent. Presentable. Just imagine you're going to get posted on a comic hostings platform completely for free. That's how you need to look right now. Can you do that? Mm -mm -mm -mm. And then her hand is going to be up here, holding his hand, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, etc. And I looked at him. This song's great. I don't know how Weird Al even remembers those lyrics, because he does those songs live. His freaking ten minute long just monologues, soliloquies, I don't know, there's a word. Somebody else figure. Sometimes he'll do the, he'll do a bit where he gets halfway through one of those 10 minute long songs he's written. From what I hear in his live performances, and then he'll just start over. He'll be like, oh, I lost my spot, and that's gotta be. It seems like Weird Al does everything in his power to make people hate his live shows. <laughs> but people still go to him. Like, there was one Weird Al tour that he did. I think it was recently, actually. Or it was just a bunch of, oh, I think it was music that he did for that, um... That biopic that was being done of him featuring Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter guy, uh, as Weird Al. And like the tour was just almost exclusively original songs from that soundtrack and nobody, everyone wanted to hear the hits. 
So he would just like do the sounds. He would do the soundtrack from that movie when it was coming out. And then he wouldn't play like any or any of the greatest hits at all. And it's like I I freak it, I respect it. The man has done it. He can do anything he wants at this point. He's had such a, a historied career. Should really draw... God, his hand is like so large compared to hers. Some freaking Tarzan Jane type stuff going on here. Except they are not in love. That would be weird within the context of this story. There's no way to know because there's no dialogue, but trust me. It'd be strange. There's an age gap for one thing. That should just be implicit within the character design. So I don't know what I did, but I messed up my YouTube algorithm. I clicked on... Uh, <laughs> I think it happened because I've been watching... I talked about this video on stream, I think. There's this Louis Zong video. Louis Zong is a great YouTube channel. I recommend him. Makes a lot of creative, uh, just unique, sometimes weird music stuff. You never really know what he's going to do next. And he made this Miku Barbershop Quartet song, which is way better than uh, it, that description would uh, have you believe it's going to be. It's actually, a, it's like a banger song. I've listened to it like five times. Uh, just today. It's a very short song, but it's like, I can't stop listening to it. And I think me doing that has convinced YouTube that I am a uh, relapsing Vocaloid stan from the year 2008 or whatever because my recommendations have been nothing but Miku covers of any song you can imagine and the problem is I keep clicking on them because YouTube keeps recommending them and I keep liking them like not even just like clicking the like button on YouTube but I just like actually enjoy them so YouTube is single handed me dragging me back to the Vocaloid days and I don't know if I appreciate it I thought I got out of there. I thought I escaped scot-free having without having to face the repercussions of my actions. But no. Your past will always come back to find you. And in my case, the past that found me today, or recently, like the, over the past week, has been Vocaloid covers of just any song. And it's like, it's not even stuff you would expect. It's like Miku covers of Doja Cat songs. It's like Miku covers of Joji songs, and they're all good, which is the worst part. Because I just keep listening to them, and I keep getting recommended more of them, and I keep going deeper into the spiral. No, same, yeah, this just keeps happening. I'm stuck in it now. And the, the, the scariest part is that I'm not even upset about it. It was why you fall outside of the rabbit hole. Yeah, I know. Stop yawning. Okay. I didn't think the YouTube algorithm could be as aggressive as the TikTok one, but apparently they can be. They'll freaking go nuts. If you take your eye, if you take your eye off it for one second, they'll just be like, Whoa! 40 Miku covers in one day. Can you listen to them all? If you do, will your only reward will be more Miku. It's like, I don't need any more. I've already listened to like 30 Miku covers. 
And then they do the thing where they put Luca on the backing vocals, like, all the time. And I'm like, oh, great. Now you're doing this again. We're doing the Vocaloid ships again, are we? I thought I'd escaped that aspect of the community, too, but no. I'm stuck again. I didn't even think I still cared about all that, but nah, I free they dredged up the old the old emotions. Nostalgia is too powerful, man. They need to stop with that. Whoever's making that stuff, they need to stop. It's more potent than cocaine and caffeine combined. How do I do this here? I'll have to open up a reference. I have a reference. Just gotta open it for myself and not the stream, because it has text on it now. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I'm looking at that. Okay. So, I see you now where I've gone wrong. My first mistake was that I just... It was that I decided to make a webcomic. That was the first problem. Now that we've identified that, we can move on and grow and heal. again. I mean, I get, actually, it's more like this. Then we might have to shrink that. A little too large. A TikTok, you say? I suppose I could be persuaded. In a moment. If you want to be sad, well, I don't know about that. Now I don't know about that. I said I could be persuaded, not dissuaded. You have dissuaded me. But I am curious about it now. Okay, fine, you got me. What killed the cat? Let's find out. Hey, hey, hey. They are friends. <laughs> what is this end panel? Zelda is the big spoon. All right, Fart Lord 09. Calm down, TikTok comment section. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Link, has Link ever considered that instead of sobbing, he should be getting her back? Like a fool? Excuse me. Have you finished Tears of the Kingdom? No, I have not.
Okay. But I am, some would say, scarily adept at picking up on context clues. So, watch yourself. <laughs> No spoilers, I don't have that apparent, but I should. I, it will become less reasonable for me to expect that, so I really should just get on it, to be honest with you. At some point it will just become me being like, Dude, don't spoil that. I'll be talking about like Citizen Kane or something. Even though I have seen Citizen Kane. Rosebud was the sled, by the way. Get absolutely spoiled about Citizen Kane. <laughs> it's not even worth watching. Everyone's like, oh, Citizen Kane, best movie ever made. It's like, whatever, dude. It's influential, but it's not... It's like, whatever. The, the movie literally has a jump scare bird in it, just to make sure the audience is still paying attention to the movie. If you feel the need to put a jump scare in your movie to make sure your audience is still awake, that's how you know you're compensating for your story as a director and screenwriter. That's all I'm gonna say. What are my recommendations on? Apparently YouTube. Uh, I can't even find- there's my OBS. Yo, ohayo gozaimasu. Cigarettes defend. What are you doing? 1,000 views? Truly bizarre. <laughs> With 1,000 views, that makes me wonder what it's even from. Like, if you look up Scooby-Doo Laugh, you're, you know what you're getting. What is cigarette sound effect? Where did that- what- uh, where on earth did that come from? In what universe? To raise this man's head up in the sketch layer as well. I don't think we're gonna finish the line art today. The heck was that? I heard a strange noise. King Paymon, is that you? Probably not. But the fact that it's only probably not is what's the is that, that's the scary thing. Also, I don't know why I've been pronouncing it like that. They say Paimon, not Paimon, like he's a freaking Pokemon, or Digimon, or equivalent television property from the early 2000s and 90s. Paimon, no. He's Paimon. Paymon is one of the King's L. She also stars in the game Genshin Impact. She? Did they make it a she? In Genshin Impact? It wouldn't surprise me. Hmm. 
Let's see, how's this helmet gonna work? I know how the helmet's supposed to work, but I don't know how- in this panel in particular. That's what I get for drawing a weird helmet design. Ah, a Discord message, you say? Will allow me to investigate. You know, if Discord wants to open. Humana, 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 humana. They did make him a lady. How can you be a king of hell if they make you a little girl? Oh, check Discord. I'm already on it. Way ahead of you. That's probably where I got the pronunciation Paimon. I bet that's how they pronounce it in Genshin Impact. I think I gotta raise this helmet before things go too far. Yeah, they do. They, they just freaking... They have to do it. It only made sense, in my mind. Whoops, hold on, there we go. This helmet is uh, quite simply too tall now. Whoosh. I, I said whoosh, and I expect to be re uh, respected as a result. Pointy helmet. It looks so silly in this panel. I'll have to keep going. And work past the silliness. What is it? <laughs> Why does it look so weird in this panel? What does it look like in other panels? Kind of just looks the same. Well, here's a good one. I think it's the uh, point at the top is more pronounced here than it should be. Maybe it needs to be wider? Yeah, I think that was part of it. Make it wider. It looks like his head could barely fit in that thing. I guess we'll just finish this panel, because there's no way we're finishing the top left one with three figures in it. That'll be too much for me today. I don't take naps before I stream as often as I should, and it's f I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I'll tell you that much. flip this because I know it's off. I can see it before I even do it. Yeah, I seen it. This is definitely off, so we have to fix that. Let's 
Let's make him look like he got a corset on, which he does not. He could, but he doesn't. And he would rock it if he did. this over a bit. Nah, maybe we've got to angle it. Angle it more. Well, that looks weirder. Hold on. Let's zoom out and see what's happening. Nah, we gotta just erase it and start over from that part. Have you seen anime this season? Bro, I haven't even seen anime from last year. If you got any good recommendations, I'll take them. I haven't been doing movie mornings uh, recently because I've, t I, like I said, I've been using the time that I would normally to uh, flesh out my chapter outlines and my story for this project, as I allow it to encompass me entirely and consume all that I do. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what's out right now. Me neither. It's where you and I are on the same page. Zoom 100 seems fun. I haven't heard of that. I've been looking at trailers for anime. Like, what's the one that came out? There's a trailer that looked interesting. Uh, was it this? Apothecary Diaries. I saw the trailer for that one. That looked neat. Uh... I don't actually, I've never seen the source uh, material because it's light novels and I don't really uh, do that. What's good? Also, the vending machine anime is out? Oh, yeah, I did, <laughs> I did hear about I saw that one. What was another one? Oh, yeah, there was the. Delicious in Dungeon. I saw the trailer for that one. Mashal got the anime adaptation. Now I've heard of Mashal. Oh, right, 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 right. I think I've heard of it because... Oh, yeah, this was... Is this sad Harry Potter? <laughs> I forget. Jujutsu Kaisen? 
has new episodes. I haven't watched any bit of that. You might think that as a shonen fan I would be obligated to, but no. I have simply avoided it. For no reason in particular, it just, I don't know, just happened. Fell off of My Hero Academia as well. I'm like the fakest shonen fan ever. I'm like, if it's not as good as Hunter Hunter, I don't want it. I don't want it. I haven't seen Mob Psycho 3rd season. Didn't even know they kept that one going. <laughs> Uh, the, every show that you name is another show that I am reminded I have not finished. Did we run out of music for Monster Hunter? I think we did. Oi, oi, oi. Which is as good of an indicator as any. We'll just click on relaxing Pokemans. Oh, I should be using relaxing Pokemon music comps so much more than I am. Taking me right back. Where's the, um, diamond and pearl? Yeah. Maybe not this one. This one? I got all the weakest diamond and pearl. What about this one? Oh, now this one. This takes me back. I spent way too much time in here. Eterna City. Haven't seen the Trigun Stampede remake? I haven't either, and that's absurd to me because I love Johnny Young Bosch and anything that he's in. And I still ain't seen it yet. And he reprised his role as Vash, and it's like, what am I even doing here? Lake from Diamond and Pearl. The lake theme is very good as well. I wonder if that one's on here. Yeah, I'm just out here on the trail with my fellow cowpokes. Which I guess would be like Ponitas and Rapid Dashes in this universe? What are their horses they got? What other horse mons are there? Surely there's more than just the ones that are on fire. Can't quite remember though. Maybe that is all there was for a while. Does anyone know? What other horse Pokemon are there? There can't just be the flaming ones. I would be surprised. Arceus does not count. He's very horse-like, but I don't think so. Xerneas is a deer, so that doesn't work. If your horse isn't on fire, is it really a horse? I guess in the Pokemon world, no. <laughs> I guess it doesn't count. It's a defining feature of a Pokemon horse. I mean, I'm looking it up. Uh, uh, Pokemon... Horse. Oh, there is. The unicorns, you're right. They did just show up. Oh, there's the mud bray. That one should. That's more like a donkey, then. And then mud's dale. And there's the zebra one. I guess for a while it really was just the ones that were on fire. How unfortunate. You want to go horseback riding in Pokemon? Up until a couple of years ago, you had to you had to accept the fact it was gonna pay. You were gonna have to pay a hefty price for that. You want to be a horse girl in the Pokemon universe? Oh boy, that's uh, that's gonna set you back something fierce in medical bills.
when someone brought that up in a meeting. We need a horse that isn't on fire pronto. How about a mud donkey? And the, 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 if that's the case, their definition of pronto is very loose. Because <laughs> I think mud donkey... Wasn't that in, like, one of the most recent games? Mud bray... Mud horse Pokemon. When did you come out? Where did you come in? Um... What the heck? Oh, this is the anime. I need the video game. This Pokemon was unavailable prior to Generation 7, so yeah, it's pretty freaking new. We need a horse that isn't on fire pronto, and they said absolutely, and then they put that on the back burner. They put it in the filing cabinet for a couple decades, let it stew, let it simmer. Give the idea some time to marinate. I can't really be said to be linear and all that. Pronto's all about perspective. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's Game Freak. They have to release a Pokemon game every two days or so. It's what it feels like. I imagine their definition of Pronto would be getting something done within the hour. That's what the Pokemon company demands of them. And also that they make the whole game for like two dollars. Freaking, I can't believe one of the most widely successful companies, from like a merchandising standpoint, makes their video game subsidiary. Which is like, pu also published by Nintendo, of all companies, make their games on a shoestring budget in like a week. <laughs> it's just, I can't, it's ridiculous. Pikachu, Pikachu's face alone has made that company uh, billions of dollars, I would say. And they can't just, like, just throw Game Freak an extra weekend or two? What the heck is this? Pokemon, what are you on right now? I think this stream alone I have said every pronunciation of the <laughs> of the word Pokemon. It's not even a clear, concise pronunciation anymore. I've said Pokemon like I was some 90s grandparent. I've said Pokemon like I'm an American. And I've said Pokemon like an American who respects the franchise. I'm just gonna start calling it Pocket Monsters. Save everyone the trouble. This is gonna work, but we're gonna keep trying. So far, this panel looks fine. We'll try drawing this hand once, and if I don't like it, I'm calling it. And if I do like it, I'm gonna call it anyway. So this hand is all—it all hangs in the balance of the hando. Yo, this one too. This is another banger. What is this one called again? I need to know. Is this the lake theme? This is the lake theme. I, I got so excited I almost threw my phone on the floor. It's the lake theme! Gah! So amped right now. Calm down, Zotan. Freaking geez. It's just the lake theme from Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> I'm just, I, it's very rare that I actually fully remember something, so you have to understand my excitement when I when I nailed that without even looking at it. Yeah, this is all-time classic material.
Better than Gwendolyn's theme? Do you mean Guinevere's theme? Because only one of those deserves to be in video game history. <laughs> No. Not better than Guinevere's theme. Because Guinevere's theme I can spot from the first note. And it's sad that I can do that, but I can. I've heard it that many times. <laughs> I was going to look something up before I ended stream today. I can't remember what it was. Dang it, now I'm really trying hard to remember that. Oh god, it just slipped my mind. What was I going to sh- I was going to bring it up on stream. Hmm. Let me try opening up my- What am I going to do? I literally cannot remember. I'm so angry. I hate when that happens. Excuse me. Lavender Town is in my relaxing Pokemon music compilation. Are you joking me? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it is not. Get away from me. I'm, due, I'm going back to the beginning of the lake to see if I can remember what I was trying to remember. What was I talking about? God, I hate when that happens. It makes me so angry. Alright, let's see. I almost dropped my phone on the floor because I was getting so excited that I nailed remembering what the lake theme was first try. I think it was another song that I was going to bring up. Hmm. Alright, well, it is lost from my brain. So I'll try to think about that in the background of my mind. And that makes me so mad when I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably bring this up on stream. And then I just don't. It was a video, actually. I wanted it to be something that I could show. I remember that because I was going to put it on before I went to my end screen. What was I going to do? This is infuriating. Yeah, there's something wrong with this whole dynamic here. Alright, I'll figure out all that stuff in the background, but for now, I think I'm gonna have to call it. Alright, uh, thank you all for stopping by. Thanks again, Gara, for the raid, if they ever see this on one of my VOD uploads. Hopefully this isn't one of the sections that is muted. I know that happens. For copyright, thanks for all the raiders for stopping in and sticking around if you have. And for just anyone who came in. At all, just randomly. Uh, I'll be doing the same old, same old. Another time, another day. As I do. Making this comic. 
And uh, yeah, that's all for the Have a Good Sleep. Thank you. Really wish I remembered what video I was trying to think of. Hopefully I am at, or uh, remember it like immediately after I end stream so I can just do it next time. I'll write it down if it comes back to me. But uh, bye bye Be careful.